Amongst, uh, among the privileges of hosting a, a talk show is that you occasionally get to interview one of your heroes. Now, my next guest is one of America's great novelists and the author of more than 50 novels. He, he writes, um, you know, I told you, he writes these gritty crime thrillers. They're, they're just fantastic. If you haven't read any of these stuff, read it. If you like, they're kind of like sexy, grimy, the Da Vinci Code. See what I'm saying? There, there's like, you've got a soul, you've got a thing, then who could it be? And maybe it's that way. But also, ah. His late, <laughs> I'm doing, I'm very literate, obviously, when I'm talking about this. <laughs> His latest thriller is called All the Flowers Are Dying. It's in bookstores now. Please welcome one of my favourite writers, the talented Lawrence Block, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Does it happen a lot in the, the life of a novelist? Do you go on late night talk shows? It happens uh, hardly ever. Yeah. <laughs> really? I, I, would, I can't imagine why. It's extraordinary, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's funny. I, you write a lot about, um, about the character. There's a lot of different characters that run. You have like three or four different characters yes. in different books. One is Matthew Scudder. He's a, a cop who's a recovering alcoholic. Uh, an ex-cop who's a recovering yes. alcoholic. He's my favorite. Because ah. uh, that's the ah. Ah, like, because he starts off when the first book about, what's his first book, Matthew Scott? The first book is The Sins of the Fathers. Sins of the Fathers. Mm -hmm. And he's drunk in that book. Yes. And then through the, the books, he gets sober and then he thinks about drinking, but he doesn't. And then uh, murders happen. He has a very rough life, though. It's not easy. No, yeah. every time I pick up a book, is somebody's dead. Yeah. <laughs> do you don't base this on your own life, do you? No, no. Uh, I, I sit very quietly in a room and write. I don't. I wouldn't trade lives yeah. with him for the world. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tough life he yeah. has. And do you base anything on you know in that character? He lives in New York. You're a New Yorker. Yes. You live in New York. Do you do you walk around for inspiration? Do you base it in any of your own life? Do you do you ever look at your own life for that kind of inspiration? We, we started out in vaguely similar circumstances because when I started writing about him. I was recently separated from my first wife. Right. I was living in the same neighborhood that, that Scudder lives in. Yeah. Um, and I selected that for him because that way I didn't have to walk around quite as far as I would otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and then we've gone different directions. Of course, uh, he had a police background. I did not and right. so on. And your other character, one of the other characters is Bernie Rodenbach. Yes. Yeah, and he's a burglar. He is. Yeah, and he, he is. You ever been a burglar? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> really? But you've been close to being a burglar then. Uh, yes. Do you want to talk I, about I, it or is it a statute of limitations I, problem? I, 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 I can tell you if it'll go no further. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, nobody's watching. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it, it was, it actually, I, I didn't have a hard time getting started as a writer. I was always able to make a living uh, at it and I started when I was in college and that. And I did nothing else for 15 years. And then in the mid-70s, I just had a, uh, a divorce. Uh, you Those are expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, there was, there was nothing to divide, so it was very, no, very, right, very, yeah. very easy. But I, I, had, uh, I had difficulties of one sort or another, and I uh, tried uh, a geographical cure for a non-geographical problem. And I, I wound up out in Los Angeles, as a matter of fact, right. living at a hotel on, uh, on Highland. Uh, no, on Franklin Street. Wow, fancy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, and I, I couldn't make a living writing anymore. I couldn't get things written. Nothing, nothing was going well. And I was qualified for absolutely nothing. I had no job experience. And not much in the way of self-confidence. I would look at the classifieds and I would see uh, something that read something along the lines of, Man wanted to sweep up after the horses. Right. And I would think, well, well, I could do that. Learning yeah. curve can't be too steep on that one. Mm -hmm. And then it would say, experience a must. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I didn't know what the hell to do. So did you, did you ever actually break in anywhere? Well, a little voice said to me, don't rule out crime. Don't rule out crime. Yeah. And I thought, well, what could I do that would be criminal that I could... Do. Well, you could be, a, you could be an agent. You could be an, 
Yeah. Uh, I should have thought of that. Well, no, no, no. You're better doing what you're doing. So I, you, you I, developed I, a world of crime that your, your I, characters live I, I started, I, I taught myself to open the door of my hotel room with a credit card. <laughs> you can really do that? I, I got rather good at it, but uh, I felt it was a limited um, front, <laughs> frontier because all that meant was that I could uh, get into other rooms in that hotel. And <laughs> no one there had anything you'd want to see. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hotel and, mm. and I thought, if I get caught, you know, I'll throw myself on the mercy of the court. I've got an immaculate record. I'll probably get probation or a warning or something like that. And then I thought... Suppose there's a dead body in another room. That's what happens in the books, isn't it? Yes. You, you would, you would, yes. He, would, he would break in somewhere and there's a dead body. That's exactly and, yeah. what, happened in, what happened in the first book. Because after book. I had the thought, I thought, that would be a problem. Oh, yes. <laughs> that would be a problem. And then I thought, that would be a book. You know, and uh, within a day or two that I started it, and it was indeed Burglars Can't Be Choosers. It was the first book about Bernie Rodenbar. Yeah. So the man saved me from a life of crime. That's fantastic. Yeah. What a relief. Yeah. Well, there's uh, another character, a newer character, a newer character that's coming up, uh, Keller. Yes. Keller is a, is a, is a hit man. He's he the hero is. of the book, but he's a licensed killer. He is. He flies out of town, he whacks people, he flies back, yes. and, you know. Yes. I mean, it's, it's kind of anti-hero to the extreme, isn't it? I mean, he's the nice guy in the book, but his job is yeah. killing people. People like the character. I don't know why. I, I like him. I don't know yes, why either. I, know. Yeah. I, was, I was at a signing one time, and a woman said, I think you're doing something very subversive here. Where you may not know it, she said. But um, I was reading the book, and I was about halfway through, and I looked up in, into the middle distance, and I said to myself, well, so he kills people. What's so bad about that? <laughs> it's very, it's very bad. I don't, I, I don't bad. want to have that it, effect it, on people. I know it's bad. It's very, it's but it's yes. very, very naughty yes. indeed. Yes. Yeah. Don't you ever do it. I wouldn't. But keep them dying in the books, because I love right. it. I love it. <laughs> Lawrence Block, everybody. All the flowers have died in bookstores now. We'll be right back with the Hall of Men. Yes, as an author, uh, his latest book, Hit and Run, is in uh, bookstores today. Today, please welcome the magnificent Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. <laughs> Larry, you probably know this already, Larry, but I'm going to say it. It's your birthday today. It's Larry's birthday today. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Dare I ask you what age you are, or...? Seventy. Wow. Yes. Really? Yes. I, I don't think I've ever said it before, but You yes. haven't said it out loud? No. Are you, no. Are you worried about it? Are you nervous about it? It's... No. You're moisturizing clearly a lot, because... Yes. Uh... Yes. Yes. Do you have a rigorous facial regime in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've read this. I, wait a minute. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Come on, Larry. He is not 70. No. <laughs> He's not 50. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did they tell you when you were taking the photograph, take your glasses off, Larry, and look kind of... Uh, <laughs> Did they really? Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, though. I like it. Here, I've read it. I've read it. It's fantastic. Now, th this is part of the Keller series of it books, is. right? Keller is. is a... Well, tell, the, tell us who Keller is. Keller is, uh, well, not to put too fine a point on it, he kills people for money. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's, he's a hitman. But yeah. he also... You wouldn't want to do that sort of thing for free. I mean, it's... Some do. I know. <laughs> I know. That's sick. It is. That's crazy, isn't it? it is. I'm glad we've got but there's, yeah. there's a reasonable spin on this yeah. whole murder yeah. thing going on. <laughs> but Keller is he's he's kind of a nice guy. You kinda of like him. He's a guilty pleasure for a lot of readers. No. If they like him and they feel they shouldn't. And um, you know, it's something for them to talk about in therapy, which is always <laughs> Always so you've done your job then, That's basically. Right. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. The, uh, the, he's, a, he's a great stamp collector. He kills yes. people and collects stamps. And that reminds me. Oh, yes. 
I know you have a copy of I the do. book. It's right here. I can I see, see it. it. Yeah, I yeah. can see it. But I brought you another. Uh -huh. This this is a little special, and I, I I hope I got the right information. I'm bringing it as, especially because I was told that you have a great passion for philately. Yes, I do. Good. But I'm not allowed to mention it on the air. Ah, I see. I, I, Although the I, ladies I, seem to enjoy it. <laughs> and who am I to get in the way of well, their fun? That's good. <laughs> that's good. This is the philatelic edition ah, of right. Hit and Run. And I, I had oh, this made up. Oh, and you'll see. It's it, a philatelic because it's got different stamps. It's, it? it's got a, a, stamp. A, a stamp made up. It's an official U.S. postage stamp. You can get them made with the cover of the book on it. Wow. And an imprint, and it's serial, serially numbered, and this is copy AC1. Oh, that's lovely. Thank it's, you very much indeed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And some people would think that the AC stands for author's copy. It's actually this particular volume. It stands for American citizen. American citizen. Thank you very much indeed. That's lovely. Hey, look at that. Isn't that nice? It'll break my heart to put that on eBay, but I'll do it. I know. <laughs> I'll do it. Get ready, everybody. <laughs> Now, uh, I have to talk to you about the other uh, great character you write, uh, Matthew Scudder, who's Certainly. the New York detective. You've written how many Scudder books? Ten? Six, Sixteen, I think. Sixteen? Yes. All right. Um, when's the last time you wrote one? It's been a few years. Yeah, it's it sure has. I've read them all. Oh, Larry, I've read them all, and I'm, I'm hanging here. I'm hanging. <laughs> I, I hear that from, from people. They want another. Another, yes, yes. that's right. Yeah, well, what, what do you think? It's got his life has gotten awfully comfortable, you know. He's, he's settled. He's... Uh, the poor devil is as old as I am. Right. Are you uh, frightened to make some kind of fictional trouble in his life in case it reflects in your own? Uh, it hasn't kept, stopped me from giving him a lot of grief over the years. That's what I'm saying. You know. Well, I always figured that, actually, I thought that until uh, you still started writing Keller, I thought Scudder was you. And then I thought, no, Keller is you. Because for years you've been killing people in books, right? You've been killing That's all right. these people. And do you collect stamps? I do. I'm done! I'm done! I solved it! Astonishing coincidence. Right, right, right. Yes. You really collect stamps? I do. Really? How, yes. how much fun is that? It's a great deal of fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stamps do you collect then? Oh, by the way, so just before you answer, good night, everybody. Uh, <laughs> now, what, what stamps do you collect? Well, like Keller, I collect the, the whole world up to 1940. I've, I've been invited to speak at a dinner of the American Philatelic Society. There are a whole lot of, of stamp collectors who've discovered Keller and are now, uh, now fans. I, I, I don't wonder. think many of them are killing people, but I can't be sure of that. Any chance you can get me an invite to this uh, big stamp collector's dinner? I'd, I'd, I'd love to come along with that. Play, play your cards right. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful Larry Blog, everybody. The book is called Head and Run. It's fantastic. I've read it. From Are you a big reader? I am. I read books. Do you really? Yes. Yeah, are you sure you're an I do. I, do. <laughs> I read books. What do you I read? enjoy them. Um, what do I read? Do you, uh, do you like the crime fiction? I love a bit of crime fiction. You know, I love this guy, uh, Lawrence Block. Larry you Block, know? he's a friend of mine. Are you kidding? I am deadly serious. I love those Matt Scudder books Matt so Scudder's much. You are... I'm not kidding. I had to. I took a seminar in college on revenge literature, and we had to read "When the Sacred Gin Mill Closes." That's a books. great. That's a yeah. great. That, that, so now I read all of them. I love that. They're amazing. And that is fantastic. Yes. Um, hire them. I uh, books. That Larry reading Block, books. Larry Block has been on the show many times. Really? In fact, the last time he was here was his 70th birthday. He's a sensational crime Those writer. Those books are so good. The Matt Scudder books. Amazing. Eight Million Ways to Die. Eight amazing. Million Ways to Die. A Walk Amongst the Tombstones. Are you? I hate to get. Uh, it's called. Step by Step, a pedestrian memoir. It's in stores May 19th. Please welcome my friend Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. Larry, it's nice to see you. It's a pleasure. Happy birthday. Thank you. It was yesterday. I'm, we're now the same age. Well, yes, yes, yes. Looks better on you. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> hey, look, the, you've got the same photograph in the back of you. Now, this has been on the back of your book since the early 20s, this photograph. <laughs> it has, it has, it has. 
It's time for a new one, Larry. Uh, I don't think so. OK. <laughs> now, uh, this is not a crime or thriller novel. No. It's a memoir. It's not even a novel. That's right, it's yeah, a Yeah, yeah. And it's, a, it's about walking. And I thought when I thought, God, oh, God, he's, Larry's written a book about walking. I'll have to read it. It's actually very interesting. Thank but, you. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's very good. You've walked everywhere. Yes, yes. You've walked to some very exciting places. Some, and some very tedious ones. Well, actually. that's... That's walking. Yes, you know, it uh, is. You've got your sneakers on now, haven't you? I have, you I look... have, and it is... Right, right at this moment, it is driving my wife crazy, I'm sure, that I'm wearing sneakers, sneakers on with TV? a suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Well, uh, this is live, but we could maybe cut them out or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, calm yourself. What the, uh... Why, why, why walking, then? Why, why do you like walking? What's so good about walking? Well, I, uh... As opposed to, you know, taking a car. <laughs> I've got to tell you, I feel a little bit as though I'm under false pretenses with, on this book tour. Uh, you know what I feel like? Cause, well, because, because I haven't been walking a lot lately. Uh, how, and how, I have you, been... You walked out here, I saw you. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's been right. about it lately. Right. And you know the program The Biggest Loser? Yeah, I'm and familiar you, with it, yeah. Yeah, and the, the, uh, every once in a while, some fellow loses 150 pounds on it yeah. and writes a book. Yeah. And by the time it's published, he's gained back 200. Right, yeah, yeah, I know. No. <laughs> That's how I Is that feel. What, yeah. That's how I well, feel. Well, that's what happens, because you get all the exercise, then you sit down to write the book, have a few snacks, type. That's exactly snack, what type, happens. Snack, type, yes. snack, type, snack, yeah. type. <laughs> Book's finished. There you go. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We're friends, you know. We are? Yeah, I yeah, brought yeah, you yeah. a present. Like, what, did, did you, you bring me that? a present? I no, because present. when you brought that, th you brought me another present? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Is it all right? Yeah. What, what, what I, I thought it would compliment the, the, uh, the oh, my snake mug. Yeah, look at that. Look at that sucker. Yeah, yeah. you don't see that. Go and walk yourself fantastic. to Albuquerque to get one of yeah. those, pal. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to walk in snake country. No, no, you don't no, want to. No, one of these, I'd no. take your foot off. I, I figure that's clearly a, a totem there. animal of yours. Oh, that's thanks, Larry. That's a fetish, a Zuni fetish. A Zuni fetish. It's a rattlesnake. That's snake. actually the name I used to dance under. Zuni That's Fetish? Yeah. That was you? No, I was Zuni Fetish. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome Zuni Fetish. I'm, Black Velvet. Yeah, that was I'm me. I'm shocked. Yeah, I, yeah. I used to sit quite close to the stage. I remember I... you. <laughs> I remember you, Mr. Can I put 50 cents in? I don't have a dollar. Yes. <laughs> 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 I remember... <laughs> Quite a cup, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. Anyway, you know when the last time I saw you in New York, and thanks for this, by yes. the way, um, that you gave, you said to me, you must watch The Wire. Yes. That show The Wire, and then uh, you and your wife sent me the uh, the boxed set of the first season. Yes. And the second season too, I think. Yeah. Well, I've now watched all of it except for the last six episodes isn't it of five seasons. Isn't it's it it's the best piece of TV I've ever seen, excluding anything on CBS. Blah yes, blah. Yes. But you know. <laughs> But for this show... Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean, it, it's extraordinary television. I know, I know. I think, I think it's better than uh, almost all uh, films and novels as well. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Just, just wonderful. Why don't you write for TV? You should do a bit of writing for TV. You think so? Yeah, write, you could write a couple of gags for here anyway, something like that. <laughs> oh, you know what you should write is another Matt Scudder book. Uh, Larry writes these books about a detective called Matt Scudder, uh, who lives in New York. It's very, very... I mean, it's about time you wrote another one, I think. If you're asking me. I never thought we'd get this far into the show before you asked for Yes, I know. Well, you should. I mean, we all, I, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fine uh, kind of existential dilemma, crime thrillery, you know, business. Thank you. I, actually, you can quote me on the book jacket if you want to put that on it. <laughs> it it's a fine existentially crime thrillery business, the cheeky monkey guy. There, that'd be awesome. <laughs> That would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'm going to write any more novels. Any more novels at all? Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> what the, any what any, to you, any man? number of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, why? What are you going to do now, then? I don't know. <laughs> I've been writing the damn things for 50 years. Well, they're good. Keep going. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, not write them? Sit at home in a huff? You've got to write them. 
Well, we've been having a really good time watching a couple of Michael Caine movies every night. <laughs> I, and, look, look, and, look, 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 let and, me just tell Craig, you this. Craig, yeah. he made 140 films. We yes. can do this for quite a while. Yes, you can. <laughs> look, though, look, I gotta tell you this. Watching Michael Caine movies and writing novels is not mutually exclusive. You're right. <laughs> You write a novel or some, you write a few pages during the day. I don't even work for your damn publisher. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You write a few pages during the day and then watch your Michael Caine movies at night. Oh, here, yeah, a bloody great shark. There you are, that's most of them. We'll see. Yeah, all right, we'll see. Larry Block, everybody, we'll be right back. Is, is a very, very talented author. He's uh, written a book called uh, A Drop of the Hard Stuff, uh, which is uh, um, a book. And it's... Uh, <laughs> but, and, and, and I'll talk about it in a minute. But look, it's dedicated to... Th this is for Megan and Craig. And my wife's name is Megan and my name is Craig. <laughs> Why are you applauding me? I didn't write the book. <laughs> But it's in stores now. Please welcome Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. <laughs> Larry, how are you? I'm good. It's good I'm to good. see you, and I'm very, very delighted that you wore a green tie. <laughs> No, it looks nice. Okay, good. It does. It looks good. Thank you. Yeah, but a nice blue shirt and a green tie. Yeah. Colorful. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Makes this its own quiet state. <laughs> it does. It yeah. says, I'm quiet, I'm an author, but also... I got a map, man. <laughs> right? That's what you're going for, right? Yes. Okay. I know you. That's what you're thinking. I, I, I'm so glad that you got the code there. You know? <laughs> I am... Um, this is a, a Matt Scudder book. Your character, Matt Scudder, the alcoholic uh, ex-policeman detective yes, in New yes. York. And you had stopped writing Matt Scudder books. And I believe somebody you know was going on and on and on at you to... Someone was, yes. <laughs> Do you find yourself identifying very strongly with this character? Because, you know, you were a notorious drunk for years. Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah. I was, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Notorious, would you say? Well, not notorious. Uh, uh, pathetic. <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting. Disgust. Let's go with disgusting. You were a disgusting drunk for I many was. years, and, yeah. and now, of course, you're not. No. Just still disgusting. Still disgusting. Well, I didn't want to bring it up. But So you're on the book tour then. You're going selling yes. it. You're doing yes. the dog and pony around town. What do you You go to stores and read it? Yes. Oh. Read from it. Out loud or just to it. yourself? <laughs> Just to myself. So you just go, uh, 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 Lawrence Block is now going to read from his book, and then you go, all right, everybody, and then just read? <laughs> and it, yes, and it really gets him when I chuckle. <laughs> like that, actually. Yeah, yeah just like... <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, do you like doing that? Do you like performing in public? A certain amount. I like meeting people. I like a certain. I certainly like being the target of adulation. Who doesn't? But a target of adulation. You get a certain amount of adulation on a book tour, and you get a very wonderfully skewed idea of your importance in the world, because you go into a room and say, "My God, a, a hundred people in this city came to see me." Right. And in that city, there will be perhaps two and a half million who chose not to. Yeah. <laughs> Is the glass but, half but full I don't or half empty, that. though? You know, I mean, you've got, you got to yeah. look at it. But, and yeah. you sell the book to these people and you sign it. Then. That's right. Right, where are you going? Uh, they wrote a little thing down. Where are you going? You're going, uh, the book carnival at Orange... Now, the book carnival at, or, or in Orange County, that's, is that an actual carnival with carnies, midgets, that kind of thing? We're, we're hoping. Yeah, we're hoping. Right. I'll be there at noon tomorrow. Right, in Orange County. That, that'll be... Uh, uh, how many people in Orange County read? I mean... <laughs> Question. Probably more than can fit into the store. Oh, well, okay, good. Uh, and then at Romans in Pasadena. That's tomorrow night at uh, 7. Yeah. So you're going from Orange County to Pasadena? Yeah. That's a long way. Someone's driving me. Do you have your own driver? Yeah. 
You live in New York. You don't. You don't. Do you know how to drive? Of course I know how. To do you really? I've never seen. Yeah. Now when I think of it, I've never seen you drive a car. I obviously. I I know how. Thank God I don't have to. Yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then you're going to Mysteries to Die For at Thousand Oaks in, uh, on Saturday. Saturday at 2, yes. Well, you you got plenty of time to make it from Pasadena to Thousand Oaks. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I know, you'll so. be fine. Yeah. yeah, you stayed in a hotel? Yeah. Do you steal those little bits of soap? <laughs> I haven't bought soap in years. Yeah. <laughs> steal the shampoo? Not so much the shampoo. Well, the shampoo. What for? Well, I... <laughs> You could shampoo downstairs. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I, I'm, I'm sure it'd probably be a good idea if you did. Uh, not, you, not you specifically, I just mean, you know, one. And then there's your beard. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you shampoo your beard or just use regular soap on it? This is the kind of things you should ask a mystery writer, you know, because, uh, you know... If, if it weren't that every interviewer asked that. Well, right, right. I, I'm sure you guys asked that a lot, but... <laughs> always, always. Shampoo, shampoo or shampoo. shampoo. Yeah. So you shampoo, but you don't use shaving. Well, you use shaving foam the sides. Yeah. And then shampoo the beard. It's a lot of work, Larry. That's all I'm saying. I know it is. But there are sacrifices you make for your art. You know? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared to go that far. Awkward pause or mouth organ? <laughs> I think I know the answer to that. Um, let's do mouth organ. Have you, ever, have you ever played the mouth organ? About every 12 years I buy one with the illusion that I'll be able to play it in that. And I practice on it for a couple of hours and I put it away. Mm. And 12 years later, I've forgotten having done this. Right. And I, it just keeps happening. But I'm willing to... You've seen, you seen a doctor or anything about it? They just tell me to hum a little. Hum instead of a mouth organ? Probably. Do you want to just hum here? It'd save me going all the way over to the other side of the desk and picking up the mouth organ. I could just sit here and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what's good about humming is that we could hum and have an awkward pause at the same time. Yes. It's kind of like multitasking. Yeah. You want to try it? Okay. All right, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got the awkward part down. No, I think... Oh, you know what we should hum? The Darth Vader thing. Mm-hmm. It's, be it's better than the mouth organ. Well, you know, each do his own. Yeah. It's a good book, though. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for the dedication. Is it is it uh, uh, Megan and I, or is it a completely different? Well, Megan I was going to just dedicate it to Megan, but I decided that we kept this a secret as long as we had. Yeah, no, I think that it's would. Better. You're such a suspicious bastard. That I am very suspicious. <laughs> I'm even, I'm even suspicious now, even although you <laughs> said that. <laughs> Congratulations on writing another Matt Scudder. It's lovely to see you again. Lawrence Blog, everybody, Lawrence Blog. My next guest is a great author. His latest book, Getting Off. <laughs> is in stores now. Please welcome my friend Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. Hey, Larry, how are you? All right. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm very glad that you allowed me to contribute to the conversation there. And I'm very glad you, the, that you're not wearing anything low cut. No, no, I had... That was my first choice, but... I'm always happy to see you on this show, but I never, ever want you to wear anything low cut, ever. All right. On the show or anywhere else. All right. All right. I think it's undignified for a writer of your magnitude. Okay. That's a big word. It's a, it's a damn word. Do you ever use word. that word, magnitude? No, but I've seen it. Right? 
Now here's a copy of your a copy of your book. Now we had to pre-pixelate uh, this uh, <laughs> this ass here. Apparently we're we're spending all our money on pixelation over my mouth. <laughs> so we're now ple. I've got this book at home. The the uh, you can see the ass in the dagger. Yes, you can. you yeah. can. Is that you there? Uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, man, this is an older book, though, isn't it? Have no, ever, no, no, brand new. Really? Yep, yep. But you wrote this book as Jill Emerson. That's right. Now, Jill Emerson is my inner lesbian. <laughs> Definitely a rustling of... There was a rustling of plaid over there. Yeah. The... Uh, <clears throat> No wait, no, wait, is this a, it's just a design thing? It's just a kind of uh, affectation you're writing as Jill no. Or do you write in character? I've, I've written uh, o over the years about seven other books as Jill Emerson. I see. And uh, this one just felt right. And it was also to set it apart a little from some of the other books because as you may have noticed, this has a rather intense erotic content. Yes, it does. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the kind of book people are reading on Ryanair. I was just... Yeah. <laughs> They've just acquired film rights to it. Really? Are you yes, serious? Yes, yes. Uh, Ryanair has. Ryanair has. Yes. I, um, no, I, I, so when you write as Jill Emerson, do you dress as Jill Emerson? Do you think, well, today I'm going to write as Jill Emerson. Time for something low cut. That's an awfully personal question. <laughs> You're the one that walked out here with your breasts out. Well, no, 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 no you're not. The other well, one. I can't get it out of my eyes. To my retina. See when you see a woman who's, who's got a, wearing a very low cut revealing dress. Did you pixelate her? I, I don't know. Did we? <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No, yeah, I think it's only it's only only, uh, only on a book. Only well, on a book. I think what it is is uh, asses are more dangerous than breasts. <laughs> really? Well, asses are near the uh, um, uh, the you know the big the big. <laughs> But asses, asses are too to the close. Ground. Yeah, they're, they're they're kind of near the the the, uh, the treasure, yeah, if you as it were. <laughs> uh, I, 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 yeah, or magnitude even. Yes, I, uh, yes. No, I uh, I think that we have asses are a problem because they are you know they're they're active, whereas breasts. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you're helping me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just. Okay. Anyway, this is. Wow. Well, what the hell is this on the back of the book? That isn't Jill Emerson. No. No. Well, you you look positively evil there. Do I really? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you look. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You look a little bit. Like, you're a little bit Sean Connery-ish. Actually, it's pretty good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, a little bit kind of. Yeah, sure. I'm Jill Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been up to? Have you been doing the speed walking or the marathons? Right? No, you know you do that. No, I've been I've been eating a lot, gaining weight, and sitting around. Ah, <laughs> talking my language. That's an event I excel in. What are you watching on the TV? I know you like to watch on the TV. What are you doing? Any big shows? No. Really? You usually are the one that says no. You must watch this, and it's kind of like Dexter or uh, what's that one you like on CBS? Crime, Criminal Minds. Yeah. I, yeah, you like I that? Like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not enough asses in it for you, eh? Is that it? You know what I've mostly been doing? What? I've, I've been making a complete hash of this retirement that I... Would... Yeah, you, I remember you told me you were going to retire about two years ago, three years That's ago. That's right. That's yeah. right, I was. How many books have you written since you retired? Well, this year I have six that came out. Yeah. That, that's... You just flat out lied then about the retirement, didn't you? I didn't lie. I had every intention. I just couldn't do it. I, w I was rotten at it. Well, it's okay. You don't have to retire if you're a writer. You can just uh, keep writing until you pop your clogs. I, you know? I, mean, I mean, and then, and even then, you just write the very, you just write the end, and then. Uh, <laughs> that way, you can make sure no one else finishes off your novel for you, if you know what I mean. I even self-published a book this year. I what? Think. Yes, I think you have it over there. Oh, do I? <laughs> Coincidentally, no, you really get the hang of this right talk show game, Larry. Right yeah. Yes, I think you have it over there. Oh, you self-published this? I did. Wait a minute, that looks like Jill Emerson on the back there. <laughs> now, what did, why did you self-publish this? Oh, this is, uh, this is Matt Scudder's stories. That's, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's right. I love Matt. Matt Scudder's the private detective character you write about who, in New York. The one you're so fond of? I'm very fond yes. of Matt Scudder, yeah. Now, you started writing... Now, see, what, what? I would say, of course, this is just my perspective, 
that this is the obscene cover. What, with the picture of the scotch? Yes, that, that's... I, I mean, I presume it's scotch or just a very uh, well-dressed urine sample. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Do you have a urine sample with ice? Sometimes the distinction is... A, a yeah. Yes. It's only a matter of time, yes. really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, that, when you think about it, that is a very small bottle of scotch next to that. Maybe that's me. I, I, when I see a bottle of scotch, I think, too small, need a yeah, bigger one. Yes, yeah. one, one doesn't want them. That's, but it's a good-sized glass. You've got to give it Well, uh, maybe the glass is closer to you than the bottle. It always is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, well, there you are. <laughs> so what do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball, touch the... Oh, do you want to go for the money? I want to go for the money. Yeah, I thought you would, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's 50 bucks you could win here. That's, uh, you could self-publish a, well, a leaflet. Yes, you put, easily. You could put out a leaflet. I could. Now, what kind of leaflet would you put out? A dirty one. <laughs> Sexual Positions by Jill Emerson. <laughs> Is that, wait, wait. What does that mean? What does that even mean? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, oh, yeah, good one, Larry. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, did you say hi to Odd Jeff? Hi, Jeff. Hi, Larry. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what the hell? Is there something going on I should know about you? We're old friends. Yeah. We've... We get together off camera. <laughs> it's none of anybody's business. All right, really. okay, fair enough. <laughs> $50 and singles. All right, um, <laughs> all right, here you are. Mm hmm. I see. You know, I'm going through, the, I'm learning things at the same time. All right, Larry. It, uh, educational TV. To, for me, it is. Yes, yeah. for all of us. All right. Um, let's see. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Which activity burns more calories, sleeping or watching TV? What I do know... Oh, God. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it, there, are, there are slightly over 300,000 people living in Iceland. And yeah, they yeah, are, that's not going to help you here. They are all descended from five Viking men and four Irish women. Did you know that? <laughs> I just I think learned I may it. Maybe not that part. I, I just learned it yesterday. Really? Is that true? Yes. Well, I, I, it's so wonderful. It hardly matters if it's true. Well, that's true. Yeah. But but it's purported to be true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that would explain Bjork, I suppose, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll dress as a swan to the Oscars. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was going to do that. Yeah. Do you ever dress as a swan when you're writing as Jill Emerson? I don't know, but I might. Yeah. 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 Anyway, you're going to answer the damn yes, question? Yes, yes, I am. Right. Uh, More calories. Uh, uh, sleeping. It's correct! It is correct! $10 is $50. Self-publish a leave with Larry Vlog, everybody. We'll be right back. Next new friend is. Who's your next new friend, He's Craig? He's a best-selling author. His latest book, Hit Me, is in stores now. Please welcome Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. Lawrence Block, if I may call you that, or Larry, as I call you, when I'm not on television, which is something we do sometimes, let's be honest. That's right. That's sometimes right. we go to quiet places and hold each other. In a tasteful way. Yes, well, you're an author. It's not like That's it's right. cheap. That's right. I started this last night. I'm about ten pages in. It's the new Keller, uh, the new Keller book. What, why is that funny to you? What, uh, why, is it, why would they laugh at now? Am I meant to say that I've finished it already? I suppose that's what they. I want. finished it last night, Larry, and I got it. <laughs> I'm about ten pages in. It's great. It's very. Uh, it's the return to form for Keller. It is. Who's your uh, stamp collecting hitman? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you collect stamps yourself? Do you perform philately? Can you say that on TV? 
Can we say philately? It's stamp collecting. I'm not talking about Tootsie Fruits. I'm talking about philately. <laughs> on the subject, do you perform? Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> can, can we say that? Oh, I can? I didn't know that. Oh, I can. I can. Oh, uh, no, I can't say that. You so, can't say that. No, uh, so, you, so it's stamp collecting it is then. I'm afraid that's the way it's going to be. Okay. Do you know, do you, are you know about stamps? Clearly do. you do. There's a I big do. stamp bit I at the do. beginning. I do. I was thought that it was a bit bold at the start of the book. It's a book about a man who kills people for money. Right. right? and what he's like in the story of his, li his life at this point. But you do a page and a half on a stamp. Yes. You know, so people in the bookstore are like, yeah, stamps, come on, when's he kill somebody? And if they don't get past <laughs> the first page and a half, you I got up, Larry. <laughs> yeah. And an interesting thing is that a lot of the reviews and a lot of the reader comments have said, you know, I'm not really at all interested in stamps, but I read this and I found, I wound up being interested. Well, that's and, true, I, that and, is true. The publisher was going to take out an ad that said, this book is not as boring as you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not possible for you to write anything boring. I, you wrote a fantastic book about going for a walk once, I read. It was fantastic. And, and I'm so proud you're here on Robert Frost night as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, fantastic. Listen, I heard they're doing uh, one uh, that uh, Liam Neeson is playing, uh, Matt Scudder. Yes. That's sensational. It is Matt Scudder is a character that Larry wrote. He's an alcoholic detective in New York City. It's a fantastic series of books. What's the book? What the, what? the book is A Walk Among the Tombstones. That's one of the best ones. Yes, I think. And Liam Neeson's playing him? He is. What would that sound like, Jeff? Quickly, there's no time. Lick this stamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tell you, that's fantastic, though, because when they made, uh, what was it, A Million Ways to... Uh, eight Million Ways to eight Die. Eight Million Ways to Die, which was another Scudder, and uh, Jeff Bridges, was it Jeff Bridges? Yes. Who's a great actor. Yes, he but was. But they moved the, the story to L.A. and ruined it. They did an awful lot wrong with it. This yeah. is being shot right now in Brooklyn and Manhattan. Oh, great. And uh, Scott Frank is the writer and director yeah, on this it. This is great It's news. really terrific. Yeah. That, when did, have they started making it? They have. I was there for one day of shooting, and... Um, They're probably more than one day, though, right? It'll oh, take a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think it's uh, something like a 10 weeks shooting schedule. That's fantastic. We'll well, congratulations. You know what that means, though? Money. <laughs> Money I'm for hoping. you. I'm hoping. You can buy yourself a lot of damn stamps with what's coming your way. <laughs> Mail letters all over the world. You can mail, but you actually you're quite busy on the Tweety now. You're you're very kind of techno. Yes, yes, yes I do a fair amount of that. <laughs> oh, techno? Are you techno? Very. Like techno. when you go to the club, Larry, are you like? Ah, ah. <laughs> no, but you're on. What's your Tweety handle again? I uh, uh, L At Block. Lawrence Block. At Lawrence <laughs> yeah. Block. Yeah, that's it. It's I follow you on the Twitter. That's how I know. Well, I don't clearly know, but I, I, but I do follow you on Twitter. Yeah, that's uh, nice. How many uh, do you do? A, you do a lot of it. You're always tweeting stuff. I do a certain amount, and I do a certain amount of Facebook. But I got a thing just uh, just yesterday from a fan who told me what Keller's uh, email address had to be. He said it should be Keller at hitmail dot com. Uh -huh. <laughs> <coughs> Is that possible? Can you do that? Well, probably not, unless you started a domain with Hitmail, but, uh... Yeah. yeah. yeah I stick to the book writing. You're good I at think that. I'm yeah. <laughs> safer. Stick to the book writing. Safer, and I'm also, what? I'm very excited about the, uh, about Liam Neeson as Scudder. I think that is a yeah. magnificent piece of casting. Mm -hmm. so yes. Were you, I mean, did you have anything to do with that? Do you suggest people? Do you, no. Did you have anyone in mind no, when but you I, wrote? I, he, he was way at the top of my list for a sure. long time now. Yeah. I mean, he's excellent. Do you have someone in mind when you write characters? Do you think about yeah. a movie star or a person you know? Mm -mm. So you don't know anyone that collects stamps and kills people? I know some people who collect stamps. And I know some people we're not too sure about. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about the same people, really, yeah. 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 I always thought that Keller the Hitman was a little bit like you. I thought it was autobiographical because you kill people all the time in your books. Like you, no, you know you do. I mean, like you, you set somebody up and you give them a little life and you talk about them and then you brutally murder them. You know, I take exception to that. I don't. What? A what? I, I don't. I don't kill any of them. Other characters kill them. All right. So you send people to kill them then. <laughs> 
I just put them in motion. They have free will. They do not have free will. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, we're out of time. Uh, not us. <laughs> not, not us, I hope. You know, but uh, <laughs> unless you've set something in motion that I don't know. But, uh, is a best-selling author. His latest book, The Burglar Who Counted Spoons, is available for pre-order on Amazon. Please welcome Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. It's great to see you. Now, look, before we even start, have you made a sex tape? No. Are you sure? Maybe on VHS or uh, vinyl? It was... <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Uh, uh... No. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, it's a Bernie Rodenbar book, The Burglar. Yeah, I it thought is. you weren't going to write any more Bernie Rodenbars. I wasn't going to write any more books at all. What do you mean? Hmm? You've you got to write books. You're an author. So it appears. <laughs> well, what were you going to do? Host Project Runway All-Stars or something? <laughs> I thought I was retired. I don't think you can retire from writing, Larry. I don't think that's allowed. Uh, I think you, you write it's, until... It's, it's evidently not. Right. I, I made a complete dog's breakfast of retirement. It, yeah. It hasn't worked at all. Well, what were you going to do in retirement? Were you going to, like, a bocce ball or something? Or... <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. Well, that's why you... I mean, in order to retire, you have to have a plan. Ah. <laughs> that's why it didn't work. Well, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. So, now, but this one, did you self-publish this or something? Yes, yes. So what does that mean? It means that you self-publish it. Get to, I get to keep all the money. Really? Yes. Well, uh, if, if there is any. Well, I'm sure there'll be some. It's, uh, it, it's very good. I like the Bernie Road bars. They're whimsical. They're, they're a little more whimsical than your usual it is, stuff. It is. Yeah. Uh, Bernie is uh, a very nice fellow. Yeah. Uh, with one character flaw. He's a burglar. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's a pretty good burglar. That's why he's still out doing things. Yeah, as opposed to the prisoner who counted spoons. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you who uh, sharpened spoons? Yeah. What? What? The prisoner. Oh, who sharpened, sharpened spoons. Yeah. See, there you went dark again, right there. I did. Didn't I, did. I know. I know. I'm, I'm never a step away from. The no, line. you're always pretty close yeah. to the dark yeah. side. I. Uh, <laughs> have you? Are you still going on cruises with uh, with Lynn? I, <clears throat> I am, but I went on a cruise without Lynn in order to write this. So you write the, the books on cruises? I did on this. I, I uh, got on a cruise ship which left from Boston and then returned to Boston. So mm. you, got, you got nowhere, essentially. But, but <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. But, it, it but took, where, where did it... Uh, it took five weeks to do it. It went around the North Atlantic. Five weeks in the North Atlantic? Yes. Wow, you crazy bastard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where, did you go to Iceland and uh, yes. oh, oh, of, how was that? A lot of time in Iceland. Um, I didn't get out much. <laughs> I was sitting in the cabin writing most of the time. I did get off the ship a couple of times. But well, why not don't a whole you lot. just? If, if, why don't you save a little money and just uh, use a room that isn't going anywhere and write there? If you're not going to get out of the room, why does it have to be on a ship? Because I can't get away when I'm on the ship. I'm sort of stuck there. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, and you can't... Also, also yeah. when I, when I <coughs> decided to do this, I didn't really know if I'd be able to write another book. Truth. Really? Uh, yeah, I didn't know. It's been a lot of well, years. you've been it's talking about this for there's years, a though. Certain, I mean. There's a certain softening of the brain that comes with age. Mm. And I was afraid it might have come, and I would... How would I know, you know? Well, uh, you, you know, somebody would tell you. <laughs> People don't tell you. Really? Yeah. So it yeah. may have happened to me as well? Yeah. <laughs> I think you still got your edge. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I think I'm a hack now. 
That's the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> really? I like that. Yeah. Hackness is the beginning of wisdom. Absolutely. Yes. I, I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> it's cheered me up. So are you going to, is, is this the last book then, or are you going to write more? Well, I'm just not going to say that any, you know, sooner or later, everybody who's Stops writing. Stops writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they could put that on it. He stopped writing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid your husband stopped writing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid your pig stopped writing. Yeah. <laughs> the goldfish stopped writing. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm talking about is death here, eh, obviously. <laughs> God. You didn't think I was talking about that? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should go into acting. This is really good, what you're doing right now. I think that'd be good. Go into acting now. At this late date? Well, it's not so. that late. What are you, 71? 75. 75? I know. So maybe it's time to retire. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just a number, man. It doesn't matter. It's particularly if you're a writer. It really, I don't, I don't have any truck with any of this retirement. Um, okay. It's, it's not, not you're necessary. Out of it. Yeah, good. Yeah. So what about another Scudder book then? <laughs> ah. ah, you're incorrigible. Yes, I, I am. I, I, I don't know. I, I would love it if it would happen. But, you know, Scudder is my age. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah, you write a, <laughs> write a book about, and Scudder never, never leaves this, <laughs> the, the easy chair in front of the TV. Oh, no, no, no. You got, well, first of all, you've got your flashbacks, right? Yeah. Then you've got the, uh, the Young Apprentice thing. You could do the Name of the Rose thing, where Scudder is, like, called out of retirement for one last deal, and he's like, ah, I don't want to do it. And there's, like, the, but the, the serial killer's going crazy. Look, I like it. Write it, Larry. Just, <laughs> just, just let me do it. Deal. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. I, 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 I am. No, but that was a good start. Well, yeah. I mean, maybe that's what it is. You have to bring him out of retirement. He doesn't want to do it. Maybe he's in a, a retirement home. That'd be exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People love retirement home mysteries. <laughs> or you could do a prequel. You could just go back to an early part of his life. What does it matter? You know. You're starting to talk me into it. Yeah, I'm saying, man. do it. Just, just go, go in. Just do it earlier. What are you thinking? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. You know the movie's coming out. When? Yeah, not till September. But I saw the final cut of it. Oh, is it good? It's wonderful. Oh, it's a Liam Neeson and Scudder. That's that's the he, way to go. He's, yeah. He's, he's brilliant. There's no time. Quickly, get over here. <laughs> Yeah. We have to solve this crime. You do it, Jeff. Quickly, there's no time. Quickly. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, yeah. Quickly. That's it. Well, come back and talk to us when the movie comes out. Then. Absolutely. All right. Then. Larry Block, everybody. Larry Block. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My, my next guest is the best selling author. His, uh, his book, uh, which this is one of the books that he wrote. It's called A Walk Amongst the Tombstones. This is a clue to his name here. <laughs> and the, it's been made into a film which is opening on September 19th. And everybody that's in the studio audience today gets a copy of this book! <laughs> and, and I've read it and it's really good! <laughs> It's been turned into a movie with Liam Neeson. Take a look at this. Good. You should do that. Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. First of all, I want to congratulate you on two things. Number one, your tie. It's eye-popping, it's fantastic, it's revealing a side of you I didn't know existed, and, and I've known you for some time. And also, <laughs> congratulations on this. Thank you. Because I, I, that it makes me very happy. Because I read this, this is the first book of yours I read, you know. Really? Yeah, it was yeah. years ago. When did this, you write this? 1992 it came out. I got sober in 1992, and now I read this in 1992. Coincidence? Oh, I think oh, not. Oh, I think not. 
Because, also, before 1992, wasn't doing a lot of reading, Larry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 oh, yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wrote when you were drinking, though, didn't you? Well, not while I was physically drinking, but... Well, you didn't do that... No, no, no. That, that, Finally, I've had an idea! That didn't work because the key... I hit all the wrong keys. Yeah, yeah. Was it a typewriter you used back then? Sure. Yeah, see, that was the day. That's when writers were writers. <laughs> now they all look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's right, you heard me, Stephen King. Anyway. <laughs> he does, he looks like... You see uh, King with his top off, he's ripped. Um, no, the, it looks like from the trailers, I haven't seen the movie yet, but from the trailers, it looks like that they got this one right. They you really did. you seen the they, movie? They really did, yes. I saw the uh, cut right right after they mixed it back uh, late last fall. Oh, wow, all right. And uh, I was very, very happy. I was on the set uh, about half a dozen times while they were filming. So you, you met Liam Neeson then? Yes, I did. So if, if, for example, he called, you would be able to, <laughs> you would be able to talk to him? Uh, oh, no! Just in case. Uh, hello? Hello, Larry. It's Liam Neeson. How are you? <laughs> Liam, I thought you'd never call. Well, you and I hang out all the time, don't we, Larry? Well, yes. I don't want to have to stab you in the neck, Larry. <laughs> I but hate I will it do when it. you do. I will do it, Larry. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> wow. Larry? You, you know, yeah, he's, 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 he's a sweet guy, but it's still... A, you he's get Liam Neeson, though. He'll yeah. kick your ass. Yeah. Uh, I, no, he's, he's like a, he yeah. a boxer, Liam, back in the day. He's yeah. like... And he's... And, yeah. <laughs> also, I, congratulations on two, another two things. One, Liam Neeson calling you, and two, you're the only guest I've ever given the phone to who immediately knew how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Agent experience pays off. Always. Agent yeah. experience always pays off. Well done, my friend. So that's good. So, uh, so we have decided now that Liam Neeson, in popular culture, will be the face and the look of Matt Scudder, who is in a lot of these uh, different... This is one of the Matt Scudder series, yes. right? Okay, so will there be more then, do you think? I hope. Yeah. I, I, I hope. That will depend obviously, on um, how this one does at the box office. Really? I didn't think Hollywood was interested in it's money. It's surprising. Yeah. I, I know. It, 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 I was shocked. But, but yes, there, there, there is a connection. But if the film is the success that it really looks as though it's going to be, uh, then they will probably want to do a sequel and... Man, you're going to be so rich. <laughs> so, the next time we have lunch, you know, you could pay. Well, well, I knew there was a downside. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, let's wait and see if there's a sequel yeah, first. Yeah, just yeah, in case. yeah, absolutely. All right, then. Okay. But, you know, Denny's gets expensive, man. Yeah. 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 But that's cool. How's things in New York? Are you still writing in New York, or did you, did you go somewhere to... to... I, as you know, my retirement has been a washout. Yeah, you, I, you, that was rubbish. What was that, like I five years ago? I know. I'm yeah. not writing anymore. The muse has left me. You've written, like, eight... <laughs> And like eight or nine uh -oh. books in the last... Uh, I know. You know. The muse can be cajoled back. Yeah, that's yeah, funny. that's right. Is that anything to do with money? <laughs> <laughs> it pro yeah, it probably yeah, does. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It makes the mayor go, they say. Right. Uh, no, I wrote a book um, in July in Philadelphia. So, yeah, because you always tend to go places to write, right? Yes, so you, I do. Philly, Philly's a good place to write a book. It is. You walk around a bit, get yeah. inspired. It's a nice place to walk around. Yeah, yeah. Nice Where did you town. walk around? Did you go up the big rocky steps and do the hair No, no. I was, I, w I stayed, I, I sublet an apartment right on Rittenhouse Square. Okay. And it's a really nice section, and I just walked around there. Yeah, I like Philly. But mostly, when I, mostly I sat and I rode. Did you go to Gino's and Pat's, the steakhouse thing? No. <laughs> Were you really in Philly? <laughs> you know, there's my the wife thinks I was really in. Philly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. clears throat> 
Okay. I, I know your wife well, Larry. If you're thinking of running around on land, good luck to you, man. <laughs> I'll see you when your testicles are removed. Uh, <laughs> this, is so, this is such good news, though. I'm really very pleased for you, because the adaptation that I... So what was the adaptation they did? A million ways to... They did eight million ways. Well, they, they cut it from eight million to one. One million, <laughs> yeah. And that was in the 70s that or 80s? In, that was in 85 or 6, something like that. Yeah. And, you know, uh, Jeff Bridges did good work in the film, and so did Andy Garcia, but the film was a mess. Yeah, well, because they took a very new... The quintessential New York cop... And a boom in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, right there. The, yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, there's a difference between these two cities, Larry. I always felt there was. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I, mean, I got up this morning and I walked out and it was really hot and the sun was shining and I thought, it's not New York. This isn't Kansas anymore. Yeah. yeah. But you, you, I think of you as the, you're a New Yorker. You'll never leave New York, will you? Not voluntarily. No. no. L Lynn and I moved away one time in the mid 80s and. Uh, Realized the error of our ways and moved back. Just moved back again, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, whenever I meet you outside of New York, you seem a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I'm, I can be uncomfortable in New York. Well, that's good. Well, it's good to know you keep it up. Well, anyway, I'm very pleased for you. I hope the movie is a, is a stonking great success and they make many more uh, because I'm, uh, I'm very happy about this. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Well done. Live block, everybody. <laughs> So, how do you want to do the thing or the thing or the, you know, box or the, what? well, come on. The, the question. All right, just the question. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Give or take 25 miles an hour, give or take, when playing badminton, how fast does a well-hit shuttlecock fly over the net? Shuttlecock. <laughs> Fly over the night. <clears throat> Is this in miles or, or uh, miles per hour or kilometers per hour? Which would you prefer? <laughs> I can do the math in my head. We'll do miles per hour. Uh, miles per hour, certainly. So how hard is a How shuttlecock? hard shuttlecock? <laughs> Wife must have so much fun. Um. Yeah, she's gonna have a lot tonight, I tell you. Um, 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 I, uh, what, do, what's my margin of error? 25 miles. Oh, 25 miles, yeah. okay. Um, 100 and... 100 and... 80. 80. Yes!